Welcome back to the channel. Today, what I'm going to be talking about is I really want to uh, go ahead and, and, and clear the air about uh, professional bodybuilders and their steroid use. When they started using steroids and what exactly are they talking about when they say that they didn't start using steroids until they reached their full potential. Now, that right there is a, a really, really good question. How do you know when you reach your full potential before you make the decision on using steroids, if that's something that you want to do? Now... I know a lot of you want to believe that a lot of your favorite bodybuilders, uh, e you know, even me, you know, I have certain bodybuilders that I watch and that I like to uh, use for inspiration and stuff like that. And that's the only thing you're really using for is just inspiration and uh, not a goal to achieve because what they're doing is basically unachievable unless you are going to use drugs yourself. Then you can look forward to trying to achieve the same goal that they uh, have achieved. But other than that, it's just, uh, you use them as inspiration. That's the only way I can really explain it to you. Now, the main question is, is that when does a person reach their full potential to make a decision whether or not they want to use steroids or not? And that right there is is kind of like a, a, a deception that a lot of them are using. Now, I'm going to go and put it out there and get it over with simply because, you know, you have too many people believing too much that these guys say. And remember, everything that uh, bodybuilding is geared around money. You know, money, uh, deception, sales, all of it is geared around that. Now, the true fact is 97% of all professional bodybuilders normally use steroids for their first time between the ages of 16 and 21. That's pretty much 97% of all of them, 16 and 21. Now, reaching their full potential, there right there is no such thing because nobody really knows the full potential of a natural person because no one stays natural long enough and work out long enough to see when all the gains and the size actually stop uh, simply because there's always that uh, other avenue that you can take which is easier which is taking steroids now no matter what they tell you never let nobody believe you uh, never, never let nobody deceive you into believing that professional bodybuilders don't fit within that age bracket that I just gave you 16 to 21 because most of them turn professional in their early 20s 20, 21, 22 you know, so how do they create these incredible physiques unless you was doing it in your team? It's just common sense stuff, common sense stuff. So there's no such thing as a natural professional bodybuilder. There's no such thing as that. Steroids have been around for decades and it's in every um, athletic program from baseball to gymnastics to soccer, uh, football, uh, whatever kind of sports uh, that you can imagine, track, basketball, steroids is in all of the sports that you can imagine. Uh, simply because they have more than one use than just building the body up 
as far as uh, size. It, you know, a lot of people get caught up on steroids in just size, but there's all different kinds of steroids, all different kinds of um, cutting drugs for cutting, cutting out body fat. It's, it, it's, it's so much stuff out here until it's, it's just crazy for you to be naive enough to believe that uh, a lot of these people that you look up to are just natural. The, the system wants you to believe that uh, all of them are natural uh, from the Olympics on down. They, all of them want you to believe that uh, these sports are clean, they're, they're drug tested to the point to where drugs don't get into the system. And that's far, far from the truth. Now, I'm not saying that you can't enjoy watching bodybuilding. You can't enjoy uh, what they do. Just know what they do. Just know what the true potential of a natural person is, is not as great as you would want it to be. You know, um, the leaner you are, the smaller you are. The bigger you are, the more fluff you're going to have on you. That's natural. There's no way around it. No, no magic pill in a bottle. None of that kind of stuff. That, that's, there's none of that kind of stuff. So quit fooling yourself into believing that the system is making these products to make you better. The system is making these products to make them richer and to make it uh, more interesting. Because again, when it comes down to bodybuilding in general, it's nothing but a beauty pageant. There's no true competition besides who look better than who. It's not like track who's faster than who. It's not like uh, Olympic weightlifting who's stronger than the next person. It's not like gymnastics who is the better gymnast. It's not like baseball who win the game. It's, it's none of that kind of stuff. It's all about uh, beauty pageant, how the body look, how it's created. None of these guys are what I would consider to be tough guys. They, they are just models, models, and that's it. That's, that, there's no, nothing heroic about them. They got a heroic look, a lot of them, the way they look, but there's nothing heroic about them. Uh, they're not like uh, uh, boxers, uh, MMA fighters, where these guys would really destroy you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Bodybuilders are not like that, even though they have that look, but... That's not what they are, you know. MMA fighters are MMA fighters, boxers are boxers, a fighter is a fighter. That doesn't count bodybuilders. They 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 look like heroes, but they are not heroes. They just models. So let's get all that clear. Let's get all that out there in the open, and let's stop um, dancing around that subject. The, all of them pretty much started in their teens. At least 97% of them started in their teens. And the ones who didn't exactly hit their teens, uh, they was in their early 20s when they started lifting weights anyway, and that's when they started using drugs. So that's all the way they missed their teens. They weren't, they weren't uh, uh, high school football players, middle school football players, middle school gymnasts. They, they weren't those type of athletes already. You know, they started late. And those people would miss that that uh, uh, 3% that I uh, gave that buffer with. So all the rest of them is going to fit between 16 and 21. And the other 3% is going to be the ones that started late as far as uh, lifting weights is concerned. So... That, that's the truth about fitness. That's the truth about the fitness industry. Um, and, it, and, it, and it's always have been that way. And it's an illusion uh, on what a true natural person is because we, we, we really don't know because we haven't had anybody that we can actually base anything off of to say that, you know, this is the 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 uh, 
the largest that a natural person can get. This is the leanest that, that a natural person can get at this size. We really don't have anything like that because most people that are in the bodybuilding industry, they normally take that easy road and that's steroids to create the bodies that they're trying to create. Uh, other than that, it's, it's just something to look at for inspiration, but not your aspirations, you know, if you're natural. You know, if you're on drugs too, then you can expire to be like that. But if you're a natural, it's just inspiration. You're just saying that, hey, you know, it, it motivates me to, to go in the gym and lift weights, uh, you know, and that's my thing. You know, Ronnie Coleman, uh, no matter uh, what has happened to him or what he's done to himself, that's that's a guy that I like the way he lifts weights. I like the exercises that he used, the, the basics. And that's right there is my uh, inspiration. So, you know, but other than that, I'm not aspiring to, to look like that or to be like that because it's an impossibility for a natural person. I don't do none of the things he do to look the way he do. So, anyway, that's what I wanted to talk to y'all about. Talk amongst yourselves in the comments. And uh, I appreciate you watching. And I'll be talking to you later.